Autism Talks brought to you by the Mel Loves Monks channel and MBM Productions. Hi guys, we're going to talk about, now I know this is going to sound crazy, but you know how I say, you know, talk to your families and stuff, you have a problem? Well, some families aren't like that. You see, my family's totally different because my, my, um, my family's very loving and caring and has time for me, stuff like that. You know, but some families don't have time for their kids. And I'm talking about feral families. Like you say, oh, don't say that. It, feral's not a bad word. It's just a word like, you know, just feral means like, I, I, I actually don't even know what the word feral means. I it just, I see people, I see um, people saying it and then, you know, oh, people, they're just ferals, you know. Like feral means, I guess, in a way like, oh, I don't know. I don't know what the word. I, I I really have no idea what the word feral actually means. But it means like, I guess like a really um, like, not crazy family, but full on. I guess you know when you know sometimes people don't really um, um, um really um have health. Like you know, when I my health is like. You know, I've, I've, I've like, I've across, um, these, um, I, I, well, I can't really say a lot in this video. Like, I've crossed some people, you know, like that. Um, you know, coming from poor families and having a mean mother or having a mean dad or their sisters and brothers are really cruel to them and they're just mean and, you know, stuff like that. Like, I understand that. Like, I know people that come from that situation as well. So, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's really sad, you know, and, um, you know, people, you know, people, fam people coming from families like that don't know how to look after themselves, put deodorant on, um, bathe themselves, brush their hair, um, you know, uh, they don't have really good hygiene either, like personal hygiene as well, so, like, you know, it's 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 sad because some families, are some you you know, um, mum always says to me, um, you should be um grateful for what you have and you should be lucky in a way. Not trying to be, not trying to be um spoiled or not vain, but not trying to be spoiled here. But you know, you see families out there with their kids, and you know, you just you just kind of feel sorry for them, and you want to like, um take them in in the way but you know some families are not um not good you know like i've like 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 i said i've crossed i've across these people and their homes and stuff like that it's just it's just terrible like seriously like if you have kids why can't you look after them properly like you know like some people in family smoke alcohol you know have too many kids to look after Stuff like that. And people just keep on breeding kids. Like, why have kids at all if they can't look after them or look after their personal hygiene or anything like that? It's just crazy. It's really crazy. And I'm sorry I sound a bit not mad. But seriously, like, when you have kids, you have a responsibility. Okay? You need to look after them. You need to hygiene them. You need to brush their hair. You need They need to put deodorant on. And I've talked about people putting on deodorant on before. Yeah funny video anyway anyway but saying that people just it's sad that people come from a different aspect of a family type than people do you know you know people aren't really that lucky like when I say to you guys okay talk to your family about these issues you're like I can't talk to my mom or dad about it you know but you're like you don't think I understand I actually I do understand because I've crossed these people before and I know what it's like you know and, um, it's just terrible, like, the home life, you know, um, you know, siblings, it's just terrible, like, I, I really, I, I have no idea why, um, people just keep on breeding kids, like, it's crazy, it's like, um, like a pack of wolves, you know, you just keep, keep on breeding and breeding kids, like, it's crazy, like, you know, I know a couple of things about that. You know, um, I can't really say a lot in this video, but I'm just trying to, you know, 
But like I said, you know, just just stop breeding. Like, stop having kids. Like, you know, like I said, if you can't have kids at all, then why have kids in the first place? Like, if you can't look after them. Like, it's crazy. Like, you see parents out there drinking alcohol, smoking, um, you know, have a, have a terrible life, you know, with a family. You know, I've... Like I said, I've uh, like I've crossed that path with people, you know. But um, yeah, it's just it's just really oh man, it's just really terrible, and they're feral, you know. They they are feral technically because, um, you know, they don't look after themselves and they don't look after their kids and stuff. It's just it's just really terrible. I mean, you know, they come from a poor family, you know. It's it's that kind of thing, and some people aren't lucky to um to look after their cells because they have to look after their family and stuff like they have to do the work you know um clean up you know do chores and stuff like i mean it's just crazy like you know the parents should be the ones who do the chores right yeah exactly but some families are not like that like like not all families are perfect you know like on tv it's different it's in movies right but in real life, it's nothing like that. Like, there's no such thing as a perfect family at all. Like, like my family, for example, we're crazy and stuff. In, in a good way, not in a bad way. We're crazy. We're fun. We laugh together. But not, not, we're not crazy in a bad way. But we're crazy in a good way. And, you know, some barrels can be crazy too. Like, wackos, you know. um, Like, really wackoed on. We're not like that. Now, if you met my family, was so nice and kind and um, giving, and we've given people many chances to come to our house and see what it's like, but nope, no disregards for that, no thank yous, no thank you for the hot chocolate, no thank yous for that stuff. I mean, it's just, it's, I know it's not their fault, but the way they've been raised, it's just, it's just, oh, man, it's just, it just really, it just really makes me so so you know sad and when I when I hear stories about these things I'm like oh my god that's so terrible like why like why is that like you know I just I just you know you know family right the word family means being together and you no know, feral families don't look after their kids they don't bathe them they don't hygienic them enough you know they don't have they don't give them attention either and that's and that's really sad because when you have kids it's a big responsibility and you gotta look after them you gotta bathe them you gotta um, put the odor on them you know stuff like that but when you're coming from a poor family who is feral family by the way like that it's 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 um really bad and oh man it's just i, I can't describe it i mean seriously it's just really bad. It is really, really, really bad. Like, you know, you have no idea. Like, you know, you know what I'm you know what I'm talking about, you guys. You know, you know, some people might no offense, may come from a very um unfortunate family, you know, and their parents and their mum and dad are mean to them and then their sisters are cruel to them. It's just oh man, it's just terrible and then why they have how many kids? It's just it's just not seriously, you know. Like like, how can you look after so many kids in a house which the parents don't take care of them? It's just crazy. Like, why, like, why um, put them in that, not risk, but why, why have kids at all if you can't just look after them? It's crazy, right? It is crazy because, trust me, we've seen them around and it's pretty disorientating if you ask me, but... Yeah, just feral families, you know, it's just, it's just so sad about how they live and how many siblings that they have and their parents don't even look after them. It, it's just, oh, it's just really, really, it's just terrible, you know, and like I said, I've crossed these people, so... You know, like I said, it's just, oh, man, it's really terrible. And and I'm sorry if you come from a family like that as well because it, it's not okay. It's it's not. It's really not, you know. And you're probably thinking, then how come you know so much all about this? Like I said, I've, I've seen people. I've crossed people's, 
you know, I've seen how they live. I've seen, you know, what environment they come from. You know, it's just disordinating. And you think, and you're thinking of me. I come from a loving family. So how would I know this? Because I've seen people living out their lives like that. And it's just awful. I mean, seriously, it's just really awful. And it's just so, so, so terrible and sad and, you know, the way they live, the way they act, you know, it's just crazy. Like, I feel like they're just lazy parents who have nothing better to do, you know. I just feel like, I just, I, I really feel like that's the thing, you know. We, we and Our family is so lo loving and kind and gentle, you know. And when we cross people like that, it makes, it makes you think, why are they like that? Like, they're so rude to us. They're so cruel. You know, they're so mean to us. We had, we didn't do anything wrong. No, it's because, you know, sometimes people get mad at their parents because of how they raised them. That's okay too. But, you know, this, I mean, this is just very, it's just very um, sad and terrible. And it's, oh, it's really, it's really crazy. Like, you know, like if you want to have kids, spend time with them you know that's the whole point of parenting is you have to spend time with these kids you know and you know just please please for please for heaven to bed stop breeding kids i mean seriously like it's like a pack of wolves even like just stop breeding kids i mean seriously it's just crazy and you know like there's nothing we can do about it like there's nothing we can't do like it's just so like when you when people when people um when people um come it you you see the way that they dress and act and it's just awful it's really awful you know like you know they don't even wash their hair like it's just it's so terrible and sad but there's nothing we can't do about it so yeah anyway so i hope I, hope I explained that well to you guys and i'm sorry for you guys out there who have the same problem or issue like that and like i said i understand like i've crossed these people trust me i know what it's like so that's all i've got time for guys um like and subscribe and see you next time bye and make sure to like and hit subscribe for awesome videos with Mia Loves Monks.